things can actually go too far on a porn set. And uh, there are a couple of female performers who are now accusing James Dean, one of the most popular uh, male stars in adult films, accusing him of going too far, accusing him of sexual assault. Uh, one of them, one of the accusers, there are three women who have come forward now. One of them is his ex-girlfriend, her name is Stoya, and she says that, uh, that James is accusing him of raping her, uh, not when they were shooting a film. The other two are saying that it did happen while they were shooting. Uh, but James is denying all of this and thinks that there's been a huge mistake here that people, uh, some of the people, his co-stars, are confusing his on-camera persona uh, with a guy who is, you know, how, with how he is with women off-camera. Right, guy. It, this is a really weird story. So on one hand, anyone who's a victim of any kind of uh, violence at all, especially women, you listen, you you know, obviously she says when she was saying no to him and he wouldn't stop. And so automatically, you know, you're, you're reading it going, Ugh, you know, but then um, you listen to what he's saying. And I have a hard time putting both of them together, Charles, because what like what you said, James is saying, yes, he's an aggressive person on camera. And if you watch a lot of his film, which I don't, but from what I've seen this morning, James Dean is very aggressive on film. That's like his persona. It's his character he plays in almost all of his films. And he is saying they're either using it for other motives to get at him or they're confusing when he was shooting and, and, and on the porn set from his real personality. And one of the things he defends himself with is Look, he's been a porn actor for 10 years, so he knows the limits better than anyone. He knows the line. They, uh, sex workers know the line better than anyone where you're on camera, you can say and do certain things. When the camera's off, there's, there's limitations to what you can but and that, can't say. But the, the thing is, Mike, the, in Stoya's case, she is saying that it happened after they were shooting. Right, but on set, and so, and I agree, if if you're a professional and you're a porn star, you know the difference between when they're shooting and when they're not shooting. And I, from what I'm gathering from talking to a lot of people on both sides, Charles, is that it seems that it may have been some joking or some some stuff that happened on set where he thought he was still in, in the writer's room. And it obviously, she took it a different way. And also, now that there's more than one victim that has come forward, it seems that maybe this was the kind of thing that he did, and whether or not he thought it was wrong or not at the time, I think is the question. Hey, Mike, do you think that this would be a hard case for him because all of the documentation, all the videos show him being rough, whereas the off-camera stuff, you're not gonna know about. You're not gonna know what he's like off-camera because all you see is him being rough on camera. I agree, and, and what's unfortunate, it's on both sides. So on James's side, you Google his name and watch one of his films, and he acts aggressive, like you said. It's very much like that. But unfortunately, on the other side, if you are a porn star that was filming with him in a porn set, I know it's it's very unfortunate, but it's a hard argument too. And I think because no means no, but only at a certain time, and you're on a porn set. I mean, it's some of the films that he does, guys. They're saying yeah. no the whole time. Like, and that's I thought you didn't watch. What's yeah? You, apparently, you did a lot of research this morning, Mike. <laughs> I, I I didn't know much about it. Yeah, I had to watch some of it. Mike, I know you've been talking to a lot of people involved in this story, but. Is, has anybody said why the women have not, because uh, these are old allegations, right? This is not something that just happened. This is something from months, at least months ago, in, in some cases longer. Well, I, and I agree. I, I, I don't know why. And that is something James is saying to people. Hey, nobody ever said anything. There were people on that set. And if they felt like they were violated, why wouldn't they not call the police and or tell the director or the producer of the movie that was there when this happened? You would think anyone that was assaulted would say something right away. Now, people or have already- Or any of the crew members would have said or something a crew member, that this right, was, but had gone too far. They've already called him the Bill Cosby of porn online. So he's already getting backlash like that where it's people saying, well, at the time they were afraid to report it, but as the first person did it, the people who were victims are gonna start coming forward like in the, same, like in the case of Bill Cosby. Hi, this is Pam from Mammoth Mountain. I find the timeline very strange and I also find that the allegations going out on Twitter, I mean, call the police. I just don't get why all of a sudden it's coming out when it's old. Yeah, I do find that when you don't call the police, very strange. Where This is a serious situation. This is not a, hey, let me tweet about it. This is, call the police. You've been assaulted. Get some help. I find it, I, I do yeah, find the timeline it's, kind it's, of thing. It is hard to, well. you don't want to, it's hard to judge a victim and how they, they deal with this. Uh, but yes, when someone doesn't go to the police, 
certainly as the as the My one is being accused. The, for anyone that has this situation, go to the police. Go to the police.